This is the third video for the D7N4 Girl Scout Zombie Event. And in this one, we're going to be learning how to make these paracord bracelets. And uh, we're going to be using this green and yellow checked paracord. It's the 550. And also these really cool uh, buckles. These are glow in the dark as well as they have this whistle on them and they're for safety. Uh, please don't have the girls do the whistling inside. We'll save that for outside. Uh, now, when you get to your station, you're going to find that all of the paracord strands and the buckles have already been attached like this. All you're going to have to do is set them up on these jigs. Hopefully I can find enough. Uh, this is something I sort of jerry-rigged. And what you're going to do is start off by clipping the bottom piece, which is the one with the whistle, onto the ruler. I'll show you how to do that here. Using these spring clips. Okay. And you want to get that on there. And then you want to take the top part, um, and you don't want to make sure that these strands do not cross, that they go straight across, okay? So that when the string is coming through the slot in the top piece, it's coming up. And you're just going to clip it into here. Now for the bracelets to fit, this section between the two edges of the buckles has to be about five inches, otherwise it's going to end up being too small. And it looks like this one, maybe not quite five inches. Oops, so I'm gonna to have to adjust this a little bit. This is gonna take a little bit of time to do. Okay, let's try that. And yep, that's about five inches. Okay, so this is called a cobra knot or a macrame square knot. It's pretty easy, it's got a real pattern to it, sort of. Uh, one, two, one, two, and you'll do that until you cover these uh, double strands all the way to the edge and then we'll bind it off. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a left piece here and a right piece. And the way it works is we're going to start going over. So you're going to make a loop. hope you can get all this in here. A loop that's over these double strands, okay, like that. Then you take the right piece and you're going to come over this tail of the left piece. I don't know if you can see how it's above it, but then you're going to go underneath the double strand. Pull it through and you'll see it does look like a square knot. So get that one on. For the daisies, we'll probably do at least this first maybe two or three knots ahead of time so that um, it's started for them. Okay, then we're going to do under. And this one you go under the double strand with the left piece. The right piece goes underneath the tail, but then it goes over this double strand. And there you go, that's the first set, okay? Now, if you don't remember, which one did you did first? I mean, the last one, did you do over, over, under, or under, under, over? You can take a look right here. If this bottom piece is pointing towards the left-hand side, the last one you did was the under. Okay, so that means the next one is the over. So we make our, we take our left piece, go over the double strand. The right piece goes over the tail of this left, but it goes under the double strand. Okay, now you can tell that this last knot here was an over one. Oops, it's getting loose here. Because this last piece here points towards the right. Let's make sure that's still at our five inches. Maybe we need to, there we go. Hopefully that still works. It's close enough. Okay, so our last one is pointing to the right. It means the last one was over. So this one time we're gonna go under. So we go under the dumbbell strand, under the tail with the right piece, but over the double. Okay, and you can see there that bottom piece is pointing to the left, so that means the last one was under, so the next one is over. So we go over with the left piece, over with the right, but then it goes underneath. Okay, so this pointing in this direction, this bottom piece is on pointing to the right, so the last one was over, so now we do under. So we go under, under, over, 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 
under, 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 over. Okay, it's pointing to the left, so that was under last, so I'm going to go over, over, under, 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 over, 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 under. You can see how fast this really does go. Um, under, under, over, 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 under, and just continue on. So this one would be, uh, let's see, it's pointing to the right. The last one we did wasn't over. So we go under, under, over, 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 under, 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 over, 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 under, 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 over, oops, almost at the end, and then over, over, under, we might be able to squeeze one more if you sort of slide the knots down. It will make it, there we go, give you a little more room. And you already have this here, so you may as well try to get as many in as possible. Um, under, under, and then over. Okay, let's take a look. Hopefully we are at five inches in between, well, pretty close. There we go. Hopefully this fits their wrist. If it's a little on the short side, you can always take it apart quickly for them and then start it over. But that is how you make that. Now what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how we cut off and seal the pieces at the end, okay? So what you need are a pair of sharp scissors, and we're gonna leave about an eighth of an inch from the end here out, and then we're gonna melt it. So give us a little bit of room. Okay, there, it's about an eighth of an inch on that side, an eighth of an inch here. This is not something that the girls, the younger girls do. Um, there will be a designated person with the um, uh, fire starter. Uh, this is not something that I want girls doing just for safety, okay? So they get the flame going. I don't know if you can see it. Sort of go up and down, okay, until it melts. And then you can use the end of your stick to sort of Spread it out. Make sure it's melted on. There we go. Do the other side. I may not have left enough. And again, use that there. To get it good and attached. Now you don't want to touch this for a while because it is going to be hot for, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. Maybe leave a quarter of an inch. Okay. And so that is how you make the paracord bracelets. And it's gotta have, it's gonna end up with about um, six and a half feet, maybe six feet worth of cord if they ever have to take it apart. And just to let you know, I will whistle it, I will blow on this so you can see just how loud it is. <laughs> Takes a little bit of practice to get that whistle to go, but that is how we make the paracord bracelet. Thanks.